Hey everyone, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to talk about the Tearlock Whales Bat Box. I hope I said your name right. Sorry. If I, if I got it wrong, I'm sorry. This is a neat little 3D printed solution for your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, the Babukakaka, or however those guys say it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Let me take you in and show you a little closer. Like I said, it's 3D printed, and it's designed to fit perfectly on this camera. So when you mount it on the little quarter 20 on the top, there's a little foot over here that sits in the little strap hole. It stays right there, it doesn't slide around, doesn't move. It's a pretty neat little solution. It has a cable built in that uh, goes right into the 12 volt input on the side of the camera. And then this is the Angelbird 9 inch USB-C cable. That's a perfect fit. And it's captive in this little slot here. You can see how it's milled out there for a slot or printed that way. So when I pull out the SSD, the cable stays put. So the batteries are 18650 batteries. I bought these ones on eBay. Um, I found a good brand. Uh, you have to do a little bit of searching. And I think these were maybe around $30 or $40 for the set of four. So not the cheapest things, but they should run a long time and they should last a long time. A lithium ion are, are a good, good battery type to go with. Now you want to make sure that when you buy these that you get the ones that are self-regulating. So they have circuitry in here that keep them from having too much voltage or getting too hot. Uh, and you want to make sure that you have batteries like that. Otherwise, uh, they, you could get problems. These things could overheat and uh, cause a fire or melt something. So they sit in this little 3D printed tray. And you can see that there's this notch right here. And that is for the head of the quarter 20 screw that mounts the bat box to your camera. It just slides in. You push it and there's this little catch here that keeps it from popping out. If I've had any trouble with this thing at all, it's this the little catch here slid out this way just like a couple millimeters so you can see that there's this gap here. It's not a big deal. I can actually like push it in, but it's just going to kind of push back out. There's just a little pocket down here that it slides into. I don't think it's going to be any problem. Um, I have had one little thing break on it, and I'll point that out to you here. So there's these little fins that keep the batteries kind of sitting in there so they don't just slide out. Well, this one broke off the first one over here. Not a big deal. Um, I'm not pulling these batteries in and out very often, so once they're in there, it's fine. Now, because it feeds the 12 volt input on the Blackmagic, it doesn't give you a battery meter, and that's a function of the camera. It doesn't know where that 12 volts is coming from. It's usually you know, gonna be a hard wire into a wall outlet, so it doesn't give you a battery percentage. It only does that for the internal battery. There's a couple different chargers you might wanna look at. There's one that's more affordable, maybe $30, and the one that's faster and it gives you a lot more readout, it's like $60 or so. They're on Amazon, I'll, I'll link them down below. So there are a couple different options you can have for this. In this uh, configuration with the batteries and the slot for the SSD, this is $99, so that includes shipping. Uh, if you want just the battery box, it's $89. If you want just the SSD, it's $49. And he also sells just the plans, I believe that's $29. Uh, these are all US dollars, so. Um, you can find him online. I'll, I'll post that link down below and uh, just shoot him a message and uh, he'll let you know if he has them in stock. It took me um, two or three weeks to get mine. It was a little slow. Um, I guess shipping from Australia is a little expensive and a little difficult. So yeah, you, you just be patient and you'll get it. I mean, you, you might be waiting on the camera right now anyway, right? So waiting for the box should be no big deal. And I should point out that the uh, Angelbird USB-C cable is not included. You'll need to source that separately. I think it's only $10. Um, you can get it from B&H, I believe. So yeah, it's not hard to find. So overall, I'm, I've been pretty happy with my bat box. It's a nice, lightweight, compact solution. So if you want to just grab the camera and have a lot of power and not worry about running out of power and you got a lot of storage space here, this is great because it's very lightweight and very small. So put a lens on this and go out and running with running gun with this thing. It's perfect. Thanks for joining me for yet another video. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and hit that little notification icon if you want to know when I post my next video. I'll see you then.